So if you compare all three of the options for running Jupyter Notebooks, Colab is definitely the easiest option. Um, if all you have to do is basically click a link, save a copy to your own drive, and uh, you are ready to go. So uh, if you don't care about it being a pure Jupyter Notebook, this is probably the easiest way um, to run code. If you are interested in understanding the Jupyter Notebook interface better and knowing exactly how to use that, um, you're not going to see all of those things in the simplified Colab interface, but it is probably the fastest way to just hit the ground running. We will be assuming from here on out that you're running the code examples that we provide in a Jupyter Notebook, and we'll make those example notebooks available on GitLab, GitHub if you want to download them and run them in your uh, as a local Jupyter Notebook, but we'll also have links to um, those notebooks on Azure and Colab, and you will need to uh, copy or clone those to your own accounts if you want to be able to edit and save them. And the code examples will also just be available on the website. So if you want to use an IDE and not use Jupyter Notebook, you always have the option of copying and pasting the code from the website into a Spider or some other IDE if that is your preference.